right, so by now you all know, most of my regular viewers will know that I have just a rock and roll machine of a guitar. I just absolutely love this guitar. This is just all kinds of me. Now, my personal feelings on what I'm about to talk about are very strong, so I'll just go on record as saying that to begin with. Okay, so this is definitely a biased opinion, and I'm using my new used guitar to illustrate my point, and why I feel the way I feel, and probably a lot of people do. So here we go, let's just get straight to the point. This guitar, and I just can't tell you how much I fucking love this guitar. So we got a 2011 Les Paul Jr. It's in TV yellow, single P90 pickup, and I showed it to you all, and I would say that it's in pretty good shape, but it does have a few nicks and bruises. Now, the beauty of the nicks and bruises on this guitar is that they tell a story. Let's start with all the worming on the back of this guitar, okay? You see here? Look at all that. So what does that tell you? Whoever played this guitar had it slung down low and was playing rock chords on it. So let's keep looking at it. Now, if you look around the front, she's been dinged up. So she's probably been laid down next to other guitars or maybe even hopefully at a gig. But if you look really carefully at it, if we can get it in the sun, you can just tell exactly how this guitar was played by the last owner. But look, there you go. You see all that? Follow all the way right through the, you can follow it all the way right through the pick guard. All right, so that, like he was just smashing on this. All along the bottom part of the very last part of the fingerboard there. So whoever was playing this was just smashing right through here, back and forth. And if we look here, and if we look at the frets, you can see where they're just a little bit dinged up. So I'm actually going to do a fret level on this guitar. She's got a few little rattles, so I think I could do with a good old fret level and polishing. But I can tell, like, the guy was playing... G, C, D, and E, and he was playing it hard. And he definitely had a sign of the times. A headstock tuner on it at all times. Now, do you all have an image in your head of the kind of person that was playing this guitar before I owned it? Good, because that shit's genuine. And when you buy it from a factory, I don't give a shit how well they've done that at the factory. It's fake, it's phony, it's fraudulent. And anybody who makes an argument for that aesthetic, I guess that's the only leg you have to stand on, is that you like that aesthetic. But to me, it's just a phony, fraudulent aesthetic. And I'm not going to do anything to repair this guitar. I'm going to leave it just the way it is, and hopefully add a few of my own marks. Because I've kind of turned the corner a little bit on having guitars that are pristine. Because that's immediately what I got thinking. As soon as I started looking at this guitar, I was like, I had a picture in my mind of a younger kid who had this thing out with his garage band and just giving her D, A, E, G, just fast as he can. And that's what this guitar is made for. And I, for one, think it's fucking awesome. And that's staying just the way it is. Thank you very much. <laughs>